While working in specialty crops is very rewarding, the safety involving harvesting and handling of fresh produce in the field can be quite challenging, especially when disinfecting harvest equipment and tools. Everyone involved in the fresh produce industry wants to provide safeguards against microbial contamination and to make sure that your food travels from farm to table without incident. Hi, I'm Kurt Nolte with the University of Arizona, and I'm here today to share with you some recommendations that you can follow that minimizes microbial contamination risks associated with cleaning and disinfecting hand tools such as this knife here, harvest aids, and field equipment. It's important to remember that any surface that comes in contact with fresh produce, either directly or indirectly, could harbor soil or foodborne pathogens, especially if these surfaces are rough. It's a good practice to rinse away surface debris from all contact surfaces and remove soil and plant residues while sanitizing them. In some cases, this includes washing with a soap or detergent. Rinsing surfaces with clean, potable water is essential to remove any detergent residue. Following a thorough cleaning, sanitizing the contact surface will either kill or reduce most microorganisms to non-harmful levels. Using dilute mixtures of chlorine and water are a very common and cost-effective way to sanitize equipment. Moreover, chlorine can be used on both fresh produce or on food contact surfaces, depending on its concentration. Federal regulations permit the use of sanitizing solutions containing sodium hypochlorite on food processing equipment and food contact surfaces with the following provisions. Removing as much soil and plant debris as possible from the equipment while washing and changing chlorinated wash water frequently is highly recommended when cleaning. About one tablespoon of a typical non-scented chlorine bleach per gallon of water, and that's a concentration of 200 parts per million, is the maximum concentration that should be used for sanitizing food contact surfaces. Contact times of one to five minutes are usually sufficient to achieve a thorough kill, depending on chlorine concentration and organic load. The chlorine solution that's applied should not be wiped down. Equipment sanitized with chlorine-based solutions should be allowed to drain adequately before contact with produce. A final rinse with potable water is not necessary. It's also a common practice to add chlorine to the water being used to remove dirt and debris. It's important to monitor pH and sanitizer levels. Chlorine-based sanitizers should be maintained at concentrations between 50 and 200 parts per million. You can buy chlorine test strips at home centers to monitor these concentrations. The pH levels should be maintained between 6 and 7 to provide for greatest effectiveness. Do not add chlorine at random times or in unmeasured amounts. This is not an effective practice since the concentration levels will vary greatly. Always document the sanitizer levels on a log sheet. Keep a record with the date, time, and chlorine concentration level near your washing station. It's important to remember to keep chlorine and other sanitizers away from children and pets. Keep containers tightly closed, labeled, and away from heat and direct sunlight. And finally, make sure to read and follow label instructions sanitizing chemicals can be toxic at full strength. Cleaning and sanitizing are part of an overall food safety plan to provide the safest and best quality fresh fruits, vegetables, greens, and herbs to consumers. Moreover, checklists, standard procedures, and schedules are typically the best ways to communicate this to auditors and employees. We hope you find this information helpful for your operation. If you have any thoughts or other video suggestions regarding fresh produce safety, please leave us a comment on Facebook or YouTube. We'd love to hear from you.